Hey guys, it's Julie from Baby Nav. I know that choosing the baby gear that you're going to add to your registry can be a really fun and exciting process. I also know how quickly it can become overwhelming when you realize just how much stuff is available. You want to make sure you have all the essentials, but you don't want to end up with a bunch of stuff you don't need. So there are five items that I suggest you skip so you can focus on the gear that will really be best for your family. Well, it can be enticing to think that you're buying something that's going to keep your little one's bottom warm and make them more comfortable. Wipe warmers just aren't necessary. First of all, wipe warmers aren't portable. So you don't want your little one to get used to only having their diaper changed with warm wipes. And then you have to be on the go and have to take them out of a regular package. Secondly, there are actually models of wipe warmers on the market that will dry out your wipes. So you're going to end up putting a package of wipes in there and throwing a quarter of them away. Guys, stick to putting your wipes in a great organizer along with all your diapers and creams. Not only do you not need crib bumpers or bulky bedding sets, it's a danger that you simply shouldn't use. The state of Maryland, the city of Chicago, and other U.S. cities have actually banned the sale of crib bumpers because they're such a danger to infants. Bedding sets also often come with a quilt that you can't put in the crib and a diaper stacker that no one actually puts diapers in. Stick to a tightly fitted sheet and if you want to add a little more decor to the crib, you could always add a crib skirt. These products are often marketed to parents as something that could help baby learn to walk and give them independence, but the opposite could actually be true. The American Academy of Pediatrics suggests parents do not use walkers because they could actually discourage babies from learning to walk on their own and they're simply dangerous. While at a walker, a baby can fall down the stairs or reach dangerous items they wouldn't normally be able to reach. While this may seem like a fun toy for baby, stick to stationary exercisers. You may think buying a car seat mirror will keep your little one more safe because you can keep an eye on them while you're driving. However, you simply don't need a car seat mirror because it takes your eyes off the road, which is exactly where they should be. Driving a car with a crying baby or a laughing baby or baby throwing things is distracting enough. You don't need something else to distract you. Instead, stick to products that are only manufactured by your car seat manufacturer. Unless you know that your baby's going to be coming home after a stay in the NICU, will be born small, or with some other medical issue, you just don't need a wearable monitor or a monitor that tells you things such as baby's oxygen or heart rate. New parents have enough things to worry about, and adding these things can simply give parents more anxiety. Instead, stick to a great video monitor that has things such as pan and zoom and a great night vision camera.